Hello students, welcome to SR Concepts. I am Ravi Verma and in this video we will discuss the next topic of the chapter that is how sound uh, travel, how does sound travel, right? So students, we have actually discussed about the different characteristics of sound like time period, quali uh, timber or quality of the sound, amplitude of the sound and frequency of the sound. We have also discussed what is pitch and what is loudness of the sound. We know that loudness is expressed in the unit known as decibel. Now how does sound travel? Sound travels through a medium as longitudinal waves. So sound is a longitudinal wave. When something vibrates, it produces similar vibrations in the particles of the sounding medium. They are transmitted through the medium with alternate compression and rare fraction. So what happens? Suppose this is something which is producing sound. So obviously it should be vibrating like this. So when it vibrates towards right side, what will happen that the air particles towards the right side will be pressed and because of this, they will get compressed. They will come close to each other. This will be called compression. Now when it will go back side right, they will again uh, get separated from each other. In that case, it will be called a rare fraction. So when the particles get close to each other, this is compression and the particles when the particles get away from each other, this is called the rare fraction. This is called the rare fraction. So distance <coughs> sound is a longitudinal wave. Why it is called a longitudinal wave? When a wave, when the movement of particles and uh, as you see, you can see that the particles are moving like this. The particles of the air are moving like this while the sound is traveling through them. So this is the direction of motion of the particles, right? Now you know that the sound wave is also moving in this direction. The particles are also moving like this. So as you can see that the direction of the movement of particles and the direction of propagation of wave is same. So when the direction of vibration of the particles and the direction of movement of the wave is parallel to each other, then such a wave is called a longitudinal wave. Now, distance, let's talk about the speed of sound. Distance, the speed of sound changes with the changes, the change in the medium. Sound, the speed also depends on the physical state and the temperature of the medium. At higher temperature, the speed of sound is higher. So at higher temperature, the speed of sound is higher. While at lower temperature, the speed decreases. The speed of sound is maximum in solids, which is around 5920 meter per second in steel. Lesser in liquids, which is around 1480 meter per second in water. And minimum in gases, that is 330 meter, 330 meter per second in air or vacuum. So the speed of sound is equal in both air and vacuum. Now let's talk about another topic that is audible and inaudible sound. So dear students, as you know, that frequency of the sound may change. So if the frequency of a sound is below 20 hertz, below 20 hertz or lower or lesser than 20 hertz, this sound is inaudible sound because human ear cannot listen to this sound. In the same way, if the frequency of sound is higher than 20,000 hertz, 20,000 20, hertz, this sound also cannot be heard uh, or listened by the human being. Human ear cannot listen to this sound. So these two sounds are actually inaudible sounds because they are not audible to the human ear. So the sound having frequency less than 20 hertz is called infrasonic sound or infrasound. And the sound having frequency over 20,000 hertz is called ultrasound or ultrasonic sound. Now, the sound between the frequency 20 hertz means having frequency from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So the range of frequency of sound from 20 to 20,000 hertz, this range of frequency is actually audible sound. This sound having frequency from 20 to 20,000 hertz is audible to the human ears. So this is called audible range of sound. These twins, 
there are certain animals which can hear ultrasound also for example dogs can hear ultrasound right and you know that ultrasound is also used in the diagnostic procedures when doctor writes a ultrasound a number of medical conditions uh, are examined by the help of ultrasound now dear students <coughs> let's talk about uh, another topic that is uh, noise and music so dear students any sound which is pleasant to our ears is called music while the sound which are unpleasant to our ear are called noise so what is written a sound which is pleasant to ears is called music but any unpleasant sound is called called noise generally dear students music has very uh, something regular type of vibrations regular type of uh, um, sounds being produced then it becomes pleasant and then it is called music however sometimes the music may be noise also means if you are listening to something at a very loud uh, volume right uh, if the sound is being produced very loud and then even the music may become very unpleasant to you right then it may act as a noise now let's talk about noise pollution this trends pollution you know that uh, uh, you have studied about air pollution that uh, if poisonous gases or certain air pollutants are there in the air this is air pollution because the air becomes very harmful to your health in the same way presence of excess noise in our environment is called noise pollution automobiles factories loud music construction works firecrackers stern carries right these are all the sources of noise pollution now let's talk about what are the effects of noise pollution effects of noise pollution are for example continuous exposure to the noise pollu pollution can result in lack of sleep that is called insomnia this may also cause hypertension which is actually high blood pressure anxiety and many other disorders right so noise pollution can also lead to partial loss of hearing in some cases so dear students due to noise pollution you may suffer a number of problems and as you can see this may even disturb your blood pressure this may even cause the loss of sleep and this may even cause partial or complete hearing impairment means you become unable to hear the things this the noise pollution may even damage your ears right so a number of problems related to health are associated with the noise pollution so we should be aware about this and we should make the other people aware of the noise pollution this trends there are multiple things in our homes which actually cause noise pollution for example uh, uh, different types of air coolers right different types of machines uh, uh, appliances like uh, the mixer grinder the washing machines the air conditioners these all may cause certain noise in your home so that is again a cause of noise pollution right what are the measures to limit noise pollution dear students we can use the silencers in automobiles for example the aircraft engines automobile engines should be fitted with silencing devices which are known as mufflers or silencers the mufflers or silencers in motorcycle is an example of such a device factories should be relocated uh, far from residential area many factories from delhi have been shifted to outskirts in the 19 uh, 90s right so dear students what happened uh, what happens that if you want to make your residential area free from noise pollution then this is very essential that the factories should not be located in your residential area also in the residential areas there should be no horns allowed so in automobiles and uh, bikes uh, the horns should not be allowed the horns should be banned in a residential area the trees should be planted along the roads because trees absorb a lot of noise so we can reduce the noise pollution by planting more and more trees in the residential area the sound barriers should be installed like flyovers right uh, along the flyovers sound barriers should be there right and hearing now let's talk about another important topic that is 
hearing imp impairment so the loss of hearing is called hearing impairment it can be total or partial but total hearing impairment is rare dear students total hearing impairment impairment means you can hear no sound right so this condition is actually either at the time of birth or maybe due to very rare diseases or certain injuries so dear students total hearing impairment is very rare however partial impairment may occur due to certain small reasons for example you are hearing uh, regularly very loud sound or you are hearing your headphones at a very high and loud volume for regularly for multiple hours and multiple days so this such kind of reasons may cause um, uh, cause certain partial hearing impairment so total hearing impairment is usually congenital or by birth a person with hearing impairment can learn sign language to communicate with others so there are certain sign languages by which the persons can communicate right hearing aids can be used by the people who are suffering from partial hearing impairment so there are certain instruments which are used in the ears and because of which they can norm they can listen or they can hear the sounds uh, just like a normal person dear students you might have seen that at very old ages your grand mothers or grandfathers may have certain partial hear impairment means they have certain problem uh, in hearing your voices right so age is another factor which may cause hearing impairment right so dear students very loud sound is very much harmful to you as you know that normal conversation has a loudness of simply 60 decibel while you know that a sound above 80 decibel becomes physically harmful to you that means it may cause the same effect which are, which we have discussed is in the effects of noise pollution so dear students uh, thank you for watching this video we have discussed a lot about uh, in, in about each and every topic of this chapter in our online class also and i suggest you that please read your ncert textbook right uh, don't rely only on the lectures don't rely only on the videos but just cover each and everything from your ncert textbook you may also ask queries in your on, uh, online class so if anything is left you can ask me in online class most of the topics almost all the topics have been covered in this video right so dear students i will check if something is left i will make uh, more videos for this thank you for watching the video keep learning